Okay, this explains how to use the empirical rule. This chart here is standard chart. The mean goes in the middle. We're going to just uh, pick a simple problem to do simple math. The mean is 20 and the standard deviation is 3. The mean is in the middle, and I know this doesn't look perfect, but it's hard to write with this thing. All right. And all you do is start with the mean in the middle, okay? And these percentages are always the same. One standard deviation higher than the mean is 34%. So you take your mean 20, you add 3, and you put 23 here. So in other words, if I randomly pick a test score of all the people that took a test, let's just pretend these are test scores, and the mean is 20 and standard deviation is 3, I would say that 34% chance I'm going to pull a score between 20 and 23, okay? And 23 represents one higher standard deviation higher than the mean. 26 represents two standard deviations higher, and 29 represents three standard deviations higher. And in the other direction, 17 represents one standard deviation lower, 14 once, uh, represents two standard deviations lower, and 11 represents three standard deviations lower. Okay, so really for any of these problems, all you want to do is add up the percentages, what they ask you. So if I were to ask you, what is the probability that I randomly pick a test score between 17 and 23, you would say 68% because there's a 34% plus 34% and you get 68%, okay? If I were to ask what is the probability I would get a test score lower than 17, well, here's 17 right here. And if you add up all these three, you come up with 16%. If I added up 13.5 plus 2.35 plus 0.15, I would get 16%. So um, if I were to say, what is the probability I get, I, I come up with the, or ask a probability that I randomly pick a square between 14 and 26, the answer would be uh, 95% because 13 and a half plus 34 plus 34 plus 13 and a half is 95%, okay? So that's all you do. And so if I were you, I would copy these or get there somewhere on the internet. All these percentages are the same for the empirical rule. All you have to do is plug in your mean and your standard deviation. Start with the mean here, add three, add three, add three again, subtract three, subtract three, subtract three again, and just answer the question based on what percentages fall in between the two numbers they are asking about. That's it.